What's up, guys and girls? Welcome to the Rock Hippie Adventures. My name is Keith. I'm Mel. And I'm repping my Word Alive shirt tonight. You sure are, baby. You're going hard because, with that. Because, you know. You got the lyrics, the lyrics on the arm. It's, and this is the actual Life Cycle shirt. So it's <laughs> lyrics from Life Cycle. He's cycles. legit. Yeah, whatever. I'm stupid. <laughs> Anyways. I'm repping this, my Chevelle tattoo. Your Chevelle tattoo. <laughs> So we want to welcome you to our first Listen Friday where we bring you new tracks and albums that we've heard this week that we want to give to you that we like and maybe you'll like as well. If not, it's okay. Mm. At least you might have found some new music one way <laughs> or the other. Absolutely. So my first track this week is was discovered by doing the thing I do every week is getting on some of the Spotify playlists. Uh, this is the playlist that is the new punk tracks because I like punk music, pop punk music and stuff like that. Yep. So uh, in comes uh, this little bubbly or bubblegum type of girl that, you know, uh -huh. hair and looks poppy. And you think you would see in like on the side with Taylor Swift, but actually uh, Lauren Hibbert, the regrets and Lydia Knight have a song called how am I still alive? And it gives me that pair more Haley Williams. Vibe. Yeah. It's really good. It's a really good track. It's an unexpected track. Like you would think that it wouldn't sound like, I mean, you know, right. it's punk. So you expect that it's going to be like punk, but you don't expect punk to come out of her mouth. It's not, Punk is, I think it's, it's more punk, punk light. Yeah, it's pop, pop punk. punk. I would give it's you definitely that. Definitely pop punk. It's not. It your, can be on the radio. They can play it on the radio. It's not your early '90s yeah. uh, tooth and nail records punk for sure. Yeah, but it's good. Yeah, I it's it. very good. And so you got your girl, and then I found a girl. <laughs> oh, wait, that sounds weird, but whatever. <laughs> it's lonely, um, lonely child by Salem Elise. I think is the way that you say her name. Yeah. But it's same thing. I was just like looking through playlists, new releases and Spotify. And I just happened to just start clicking on things. And yeah. I found this song and um, I really like it. There's something about her voice. that's kind of, I like that kind of voice. I don't know what it is. Like you're a hundred ways girl. Javaya Ward. Yes. It's got that same kind the of who her tone. The four. Yeah. But Sean Combs doesn't know real talent. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Puff daddy. He did it. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, but it's really good. I loved it. Yeah. I thought it was kind of a cute and it's a little play on the word lonely because the L is in parentheses. So it's actually only child, but it's a good little song. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's a nice play on words and everything. So yeah, yeah, it's really good. And so every Friday, the first thing I do is I pull up my release radar on Spotify. And if you haven't, if you never looked at your release radar, maybe oh, you need to do it. you're missing some good you, stuff. Yeah, because it's going to tell you new yeah. tracks and songs and stuff that are coming out based on your listening. Yep. If you're on Spotify, I'm sure this is just a no-brainer to you. But if you don't know that, check out your release radar. So when I pull up my release radar, the first thing I do is I give it a quick scan. I go, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't go too far down where the track that like rocked my whole day came up. Oh, and it's so one of my good. favorite, favorite. Well, it is favorite, babe. Fra fragrant. Your fra favorite. Fragrant. It's my fragrant front man. Yes. It's my fa one of my favorite front men, uh, Caleb Shomo and the band Beartooth. And this track is Brutality and it's called it's Devastation. So good. It's devastating. It's so good. good. Yes. You sent it to me this morning on my way to work. And then when I finally got to work, I put it on as I'm sitting in the parking lot and my car's got that great bass in there yep. and I could feel it in my seat. And I was like, Oh, this is the perfect Friday song. Yep. It's really good to get yeah. your day started and check out devastation from bear tooth. Yes. It's really good. And I'm super excited to announce that Papa Roach released a greatest hits album volume two. And it's really good. I enjoy it. It's like their newer stuff. There's like actually three tracks on there that are brand new um, released last year to 2020. And then they went through and remastered a bunch of their other tracks. Mm -hmm. But my favorite one on the whole thing is Fear Everything and Rise. And it's a live acoustic of the song. And it totally took me by surprise because I was expecting it to sound like the original song. Right. But it doesn't. It's really good. Yeah, that's the one you sent to me to listen yeah. to. And it was I enjoyed, I it. enjoyed it. Yeah, it I thought it was song. great. But I like Papa Roach, so I'm excited. Plus they have, um, no, I don't think that new one is. Remember they redid the one that they just did with that guy from TikTok. I'm talking about. Yeah. TikTok boy. But anyways. TikTok boy. Yeah, TikTok boy. It's good though. Last resort. That's what it is. Yeah. But the the boy adds the TikTok boy. I don't know yeah. what his name is. I like Last Resort. That's what I found Papa Roach on. And I was late to the game. Yeah. I was like oh four. Yeah. So yeah, when Last Resort dropped, I was in that scene. So, you know, it's Lincoln Park. Yeah, it that's was, true. You know, it was it was that new metal phase. Yeah. So, but they're still around and they're yeah. still kicking and uh it's good stuff. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. So Very good stuff. Yeah. Uh the last album we're gonna to touch on today is from Landmarks. Landmarks is spelled L-A-N-D-S-M-V-R-K-S. Kind of play 
you know, the upside down A. Yeah. I don't know. But the album is called Lost in the Waves, and it is a heavy, brutal album. Really like it. But it's not all heavy and brutal because <laughs> I will say this. As I'm at my office working today in the nine to five that I, you know, would rather be doing stuff like this all the time. Uh, I was sitting there listening to the tracks and track one. And I'm I'm a stickler about when a new album comes out, I put on track one and yeah, I listen to it do. from one to the end. And I do that a few times because I really want to soak in what the the band has done because there's a purpose. Like Bands spend a lot of time figuring out how they yeah. track their music and how they put it on an album. And this is one of those times where it threw me for a loop because track one, comes <laughs> three, track two, track three, you got all these heavy tracks. This, I mean, some of the screams, some of the the vocals are so deep and guttural. You're like, wow, this dude can get down there. And all of a sudden, this other track comes on four. It's called Visage and or Visage. How it's you Visage because it? it's French, right? Because you're expecting like <laughs> more heavy guitar riffs and these fuck, just, just chuggy stuff and this deep growl and stuff and the <laughs> screaming. And it's got more of this like, hold on a second. There's some nothing nowhere. Maybe some mod sun. Yeah. Black bear. I don't know. Machine gun Kelly or something like somebody coming in, but they're French. And then it's rapping. And it's, well, I don't know if, yeah, I guess you can consider it rapping. Uh, yeah, it is. It's rapping in French. And it, completely. Yeah, French. And I'm like, <laughs> totally oh, right in the middle of the whole album. I'm down with it because it kind of, it checks your, it checks your space a little bit. So. Well, it's probably good. It gives a little bit of a break. So it's not all sounding all the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it could be super heavy. The, and whole the album's time. got a good mix of mm -hmm. music on it. Like, yeah. and I'm not saying genre, genre different, but it has like the music's just not all one raging, like hit you in the face kind yeah, of stuff. From beginning there's there's to end. good, there's good melodies. There's good harmonies. The there's good rhythms in it. And some of the breakdowns are pretty nasty. So if you like nasty breakdowns, you want to check out this album lost in Away by landmarks. And look, don't forget to do one thing for us. Yeah. Also don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell. Because we want you to be up to date on all the videos that are released from the Brock Hippie Adventures. So check it out. So thanks for doing those things for us. Don't forget to give us a comment in the section down below. Uh, also, we'll have links to the songs. Yeah, and the albums. Yeah, because we're not going to do a playlist. Because that seems a little ridiculous. Yeah, it's too much. You can just click on the link down below and go to Spotify and check it out. So we'll see you next time. I'm Keith. Yep, I'm Mel. And we're Rock Hippie Adventures. Peace. Hit the bell. Okay.